Stuart, pre probably our readers and our viewers don't have the head of Lex down as an aesthete, but you've written a note today on the Freeze Art Fair, the Freeze Art Fair in London, which is in Regent's Park, I believe. And you've drawn attention to the fact there's a sideshow, that's probably a pejorative term in the art world, but a sideshow called the Freeze Masters. What does that denote? What, what are they, is there a message in that sideshow? Well, it's very interesting. The Freeze Art Fair has been going on for about 10 years in London. And for the first time this year, it has um, ha -ha, a sideshow called Freed Masters, which um, showcasing, well, we say showcasing, let's be honest, it's selling mm -hmm. art that was made before the year 2000. First time it's ever happened that it's not just a, contem a very contemporary art fair. Equally in the US, the famous show in New York called The Armory Show, also three years ago, began to look at selling art that wasn't purely contemporary. Now, the interesting question is, does this show perhaps... Does it mean we've reached a peak in, in the contemporary market? Well, is that, it getting that's a bit the big question. Is, is there less appetite now for pure contemporary art? And is there more appetite perhaps for, for older art? Um, now, I've looked at some data from um, art market research. Um, and the extraordinary thing is, of course, the art market collapsed in all types of art during the credit crisis, including contemporary art. So but the hedge fund managers weren't the sole drivers? They weren't the sole drivers, but then they all came back in again, and the contemporary art market then boomed again in the last few years and is almost, it's about a fifth off the um, pre-crisis levels. Now, the very, very expensive stuff is beginning to turn, but basically the contemporary art prices are still going up very nicely. On the other hand, the other types of art, the modernist art, 19th century art, etc., is beginning to roll over. But in the longer term, where, where would you want to be as an investor? If you had your checkbook out and were wading through all the people at the fair tonight, w which end would you be looking at? Well, this is what I think is very interesting because despite the fact that um, contemporary art hasn't rolled over as much as other, everything's relative, isn't it? Everything has a price. And the relative prices are now extreme. Contemporary art over the last, since 1985, is up fivefold, threefold. Um, 300-fold, sorry, okay. um, whereas all other art is up 100-fold. So the price disparity is massive, and I think people are now saying, you know what, for $10 million, I'd rather a Raphael than a Damien Hirst. That, that looks like a, a fascinating test of uh, resolve now for, for art buyers going into the freeze fair. They may actually end up freezing themselves tonight because the weather's changed in London, and I imagine Regent's Park even gets chilly. Thank you very much, Stuart.